to talk to you today about another fantastic application that can be found in Reaper, which I've just realized is going to save me an absolute fortune. Um, I want to talk to you today about the web control app within Reaper and how specifically I can use it via my control room to enable the musicians to create their own headphone mixes for when we're recording. For those of you maybe follow me on my Facebook, you'll see I'm out hard at work building my live room again, trying to get that ready this summer. Um, time and money is always a problem, but you know, I'm trying to do my best. And I'm trying to think ahead a little bit, been looking at some really expensive systems, either looking at buying lots of little mixers or various different things to try and create headphone mixes. And then came across this um, post in the Reaper user group on Facebook by J Sides, J J A Y S Y D E S, um, which he described how he sets up uh, his Reaper to enable him using the web control app and a mobile phone, computer, anything that can host a, a web application can be used to, to control this and how this can be used by the musicians to control their own headphone mixes. And because all the, this is a, a web-based um, control app um, that's used to, to control Reaper, obviously all of your devices, i.e. the computer that you're recording on, the, your mobile phone or your computer that you're going to use to control Reaper have to be connected on the same network. Fantastic, I thought. So I've been messing around with it a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, not going to go into detail on the web control app itself. I'm going to concentrate specifically on this application where I can use it to give me control over or to give musicians control of their headphone mixes. So if we go into preferences and we scroll down to the control OSC stroke web and then we're going to add a new controller and we're going to go into the web browser interface. We open that up. We don't need to change the port. It seems to work fine for me. The only thing I'm going to change up here is this, and it's going to be more underscore me dot HTML. You'll see what well, there's different applications to this. It'll show you different screens on whatever your remote control device is. This is going to show me the screen I need or the musicians need for them to be able to control their mixes. Um, as I'm using various Wi-Fi extenders in here, my um, IP address tends to change there. So um, I'm going to use the use RC dot reaper dot fm i'm going to give my id as studio because that's what i called it before and click apply that then gives me uh this web address now that will always stay the same i think it adapts to whatever the ip addresses are or whatever so what we'll do if we click apply so that's done so we've got that web address we make a note of that web address so we can click ok we can click ok now, I'm going to explain to you what I've got here. I've got a little bit of a dummy session, shall we say. It's, um, uh, we're going to record a couple of vocals, some drums, bass, and a guitar. Okay, so that's my tracks that we'll be getting recorded onto. So if saying I had a session underway. Um, then I've got a couple of headphone mixes set up here. You can have as many headphone mixes set up as you can physically output um, outs to headphone amps. Obviously these need to go into your live room to some kind of headphone amp for the, the people then to listen to it, but you'll get the gist. So this now, if we open up the I.O. on this, it's the same for both of them. I've just used line three on this one and line four on this one. So on our headphone mix one, as you can see here highlighted, we have a hardware output. Now, for a start, I've switched off the master send because I don't want to hear what these guys are listening to. When I'm in the control room, this will be purely heard through their headphones. So this output is going to go out from hard, hardware output uh, line three out of one of my um, interfaces. So there will actually physically be a cable will then go out of that hardware output into the live room and connect into a headphone amp which this particular musician who's assigned this line three will then listen to. So then we have to send to that 
all of our tracks here. So we've got all our five tracks, our two vocal tracks, our drums, bass and guitar, okay, being sent into that. Please note that all of these sends should be set to um, pre-fader post effects. So that any changes, if I change anything, you know, with what I'm listening to in the controller mix wise, it doesn't affect how these guys' headphone mixes are, are heard by them, okay? So that means that whatever these volumes are set at will be sent out of line three here, be sent to our headphone app with our musician listening to it. Okay, hope that all makes sense. So that's that done. Now if I bring up, I'm actually doing a, a screen share from my phone, so it's a little bit clunky, but we'll see if I can do something about it in editing. So if I bring it up, here's my phone. Get it up and running. So now what we need to do is if we enter in our web address that we had there, so it was RC dot FM uh, no RC dot Reaper dot FM forward slash now my ID was studio so I put in studio let's go and then we have this screen here so as you can see there is my web address there as you can see where my mouse is going around that so if we click on that that then opens up this interface. Now, as you can see here, it says select your monitor track. Now, one thing I will say, when you've got these headphone mixes up here, the one rule of, that you have to have is they have to be sent out to some form of hardware output and have to have some form of receive, in, you know, to want something being sent into them in order for them to show up in this next screen. So if I just get that back up. So then if I click on that, select your monitor track, you get this. And as you can see here, we've got headphone mix one and headphone mix two. So if I click on headphone mix one, done okay now you can see we have the two vocals we have our drums bass and our guitar now from my phone this isn't my mouse on the computer from my phone here I can turn the vocals down now as you can see it's also turning down the receives on the the headphone mix track which is then turning it down what's getting sent out to the headphone amp okay so you've got your two vocals you can do the drums you can do your bass you can do da da okay and then if I click on the headphone mix up here, head mix one, if I click on that, it opens up the screen. I can go to head mix two, uh, done. And you can see that that's totally different. That's the, the as it was in standard. So if I go down and open up my head mix two IO, you can see that that corresponds to the settings on here. And then if I start adjusting them, I'll get my own mix for headphone mix two. Okay. You can also with the top fader here, we can see that moving. That adjusts the actual output, the over overall output going to the headphone amp. So therefore you can turn your mix, overall mix up or down. And you can also mute certain tracks if you don't want them from here. Okay. So the, the musician has total control. He has an overall volume control. He has control over any tracks he wants me to send to him. If he wants, say, a kick drum, I just send him the kick drum into this his uh, headphone mix again, same way here. So I would just add in and at the extra track, the kick drum track, into that, okay? And then he could control that on so say a bass player wants to hear some more kick. Example, example, I'm rambling, I know. So... That's it. I mean, that's how this is going to work for me. So now, basically, if I send half a dozen uh, cables out of my studio to half a dozen little headphone amps in there that the musicians can connect in with their own mobile phone, tap in that web address, click on whoever they are. If they're, a, you know, I could name all these bass player, guitarist, etc., etc., and they can just control their own uh, headphone mix from standing with their instrument, listening, control, away they go. So there you go. I just thought that was actually fantastic. And I'd like to say a big thanks to Jay for posting that up. Um, it, it's got me out of a hole. It saved me a whole lot of money. Um, and it's how I'm going to roll.
So thanks for watching. Hope this is useful. See you in the next one. Cheers, folks.